Okay, uh, Rhino to Modo, uh, you need to save it as a mesh. You see, this is a mesh. So I've already done it here, so I'll do it here. You select your solid, make sure everything is joined, type mesh, and maybe move a little bit higher, not too much, but preview, and then you say okay. Then you can delete the solid, and you just export this. You go file, export selected. So I'll do it with this one. Uh, file, uh, you don't even need to go export, you could just go save as, but whatever. Export selected. So you're only grabbing one and call it ring. And it can be a Rhino file, you don't have to save it as something else. And close Rhino or leave it open. And now you go to Modo. If you've never used Modo, Alt to Orbit, Alt Shift to Pan. Scroll to Zoom. Um, make sure you're not in Only, you're like this, you've got all of them. Make sure you're in Model, make sure this is turned on, and this is set to No. Then you can start. <laughs> File, open or import something. Um, and let's bring the ring. So sometimes you don't see it because it's tiny, so you have to go Shift A. And uh, you could move it up if you want. So it's sitting on the floor. Click here. To move up, so it's W, or you click here, same thing. W again to drop it, and um, so look, you can just click here and move it here. Q to drop the tool. Uh, if you want a shadow, we'll go right click primitive plane to create the shadow. Uh, here we go M to create the material, so we'll call it ring, and uh, I don't think I want it red, but uh, I'll make it gray. And then we'll replace this. But at least they have different names. And this one should be called M and could be called Floor. So let me close my old Rhino. Here we go. So I only have one. Sometimes you would create a folder. You don't really need it. So you could um, unparent from the folder. But that's fine. Uh, rename this ring so we know which one it is. Rename this Floor. So I just click on it. Huh? And uh, what else do I want to show? So to look at the lighting, it's F8, like this. So I can tell there's a light uh, coming this way. And there's, so there is a direct light. We don't see it because it's hidden. But if you click here, visibility, show light, you'll see it. It's quite far, but it's like a sun. It's a directional light. Uh, where is it? You can also select the light and go Shift A to frame what's selected. Here we go. So you see the light is here. So we could go E to rotate and change the time of the day. You don't have to move that light, it will do nothing else. Uh, I don't know what I did wrong. Let's say select the ring, shift A, it's just tiny. So we could change, you know, the angle of the day. If you want, if you think the, l the direct light is too strong, you could go on the here. And uh, if you select the light, you should see the property of the light. So this is the intensity, so we could go maybe 1.8 like almost half, maybe even you know, less than that. And if you want a bit of softness here, you can go spread angle 1 or 0.8, and that would soften the edges here a little bit. So that's how we start doing a render. Now, the gray, the environment here, it's sending a lot of light. If you think it's too bright, you can go under shading. That's the second source of lighting, environment, and uh, here say you know 0.8 less of it and if you don't want to see it if you don't want to actually see the gray you can say not do, do not show it to the camera so this is c2 if you save it as a png you would see through and the rest is super easy you just go f6 for the library um, this is the local library but you can also go online online they are better but slower so you have to go cloud asset and if you want to get one from online Let's go in metal, and if there's one that you like here, um, it's slow, like I say, it has to download. You right click and you say load, and it will download it to your uh, local one. It will take you there after. Let's stick to the local, metal. Uh, this should be me. Uh, no, it's enhanced, sorry. This one, there. I was like, this should be more. So when you download, they go here at the root. Uh, so let's go bronze, uh, matte bronze, let's say, and you drag and drop it. That's it. 
and you could still you know do a lot of things but that's how if you want something shiny just to show you the difference you drag and drop it like this so now this is more shiny I actually prefer that one uh, the problem here we don't have good lighting uh, so if we want good lighting we need to go we need to use an environment not for the background but for the reflection and the lighting so we can go here and maybe use an indoor environment uh, for ring I usually use the subway you double click and you see now it's very bright so now you'll have to go on the environment here and maybe tune it even more less so maybe 0.5 so you see, you still get the nice reflection, but it's tuned down. And if you don't like the highlight here and want to change it, you can turn that environment. So if you go here, there, only use the rotation on Y, and you can go maybe 20 degree, and you see it turns where the highlight is. This is much nicer. Uh, Shadow-wise, sometimes I don't like those type of shadow. So what you can do is delete this light or turn it off. That's easy and this is only environment lighting it's not too bad and you can go item create light and I like area light they are a bit hard to render but they are like a soft box so if you go W you can actually see them well this one is really big uh, for this ring and you could scale so the smaller the less light they bring uh, you see they shine this way the yellow so you'll go E and usually I would put this on an angle so it creates a nice highlight and a nice soft shadows but I will put it way further like we're talking and maybe more like more like a key light you see like uh, more like this and maybe more on an angle too I don't know why this one is gray out but you get the point select the ring who is here uh, here shift A and uh, if you don't want to see the environment on the back we know how to do this. Uh, go here and say do not show it to me so it's transparent. And you know there's way more we can do. I could play more with it. But that's not too bad. Uh, if you go F9 you'll do final render but with my recording F9 doesn't work so I'll, go I'll do it here. And that would render the final image. That might take a while. So you see my laptop have four cores. So if you had a processor with 12 cores you would see 12 and if you have a dual you'll see 24 it would speed up a lot and if you have a network you could use many computer at once so now it's rendering it's half the size you see I can go 100 percent and um, if I want to see the option you can press spacebar to see the option of the render and uh, to save the image you save it here if you save it as a JPEG it's like this if you save it as a PNG, everything is on a layer. The shadow will be on a layer. You'll be able to uh, to uh, change the background. Uh, we can still get better setting. You see, there's a bit of noise. There's a lot of way of removing this. I'll show you in a second. But what you can do now, you can go image processing. And with jewelry, often I'll do a little vignette. So I think you have to wait for the end. Voila. So if you go vignette 350 or 400 percent, you see it darken the edges. Often for jewelry, it's nicer. And if you have, um, it's like doing a gradient, radial gradient uh, in Photoshop. If you have a highlight, this highlight is not very strong. You could go bloom, and it will make it shine. Oh yeah, it works. And the way bloom works, if you go down, you get more of it. You see. And this is how wide is the bloom. So if you go bloom on off so obviously here it's way too much I would have just do maybe 110 and maybe uh, yeah two two was fine yeah that's good and then you save if you want to remove some of those noise and you have a bit of time you go on the render here and this is where you can change the resolution if you want to render it bigger and you can say DPI all of this but here, uh, just to make it easier, uh, if you want to do a poster or better, go 16 per sample. Shading rate, you could lower this to 0.35. That will make it better. 
if you've got very thick glass, you could go 16, 16 here, or 12, 12. But the main thing is going to remove that noise, it's here. Uh, go 256, or even 512 if you can, or even 1024, on uh, mostly this. And if you have glass, you can do refraction. And also on the shadow, is very important, the shadow is here. The shadow needs way more, I would go at least 1024 on the shadow. And that will take a while, it'll take at least twice longer, if it's not three times but you won't get all of that noise. Voila.